wanted to thank you all for being here at the kickoff party for my re-election campaign to Clark County Assessor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong speech. <laughs> <laughs> now, Carol, ever since we started communicating, our first email, I found it quite intriguing that your email address was tallchick87. I don't know what the tall means, I don't know what the chick means, and the 87 kind of intrigued me. So I did some research, and I found out that your 87 decimeters tall. That's pretty tall. <coughs> and of course, you're not wearing your platform shoes tonight. Normally, she's in a six inch that even Lady Gaga would be jealous about. <laughs> but the chick part, now, you all know what chicks do, right? Most chicks? <laughs> when they're looking for food, what do they do? They peck. They peck. Peck. <laughs> <laughs> and all I got from Carol was, Philip, are you sure all your officers are going to be a TLI? <laughs> <laughs> Philip, have you got any of your area governor's reports? <laughs> 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 Philip, we're just days away from your area governor's report being in the TLI. Where are they? Carol, they're all there and we got distinguished because you're picking. <laughs> So you're a, a very tall chick and a man teacher at that. Now, I know you do this, but Carol is part of this notorious math gang. <laughs> I think they're called Algebra. <laughs> <laughs> and I can only imagine her students running away when she comes with a satchel full of Weapons of math instruction. Only a math And I heard that Carol is pretty good at statistics. Are you not? Not fair. I guess that's why she's pretty mean. <laughs> oh. And of course, I've heard she's fabulous at trigonometry. Isn't that so? I guess that's why she always has a square meal. <laughs> what do you have for Carol? <laughs> Carol, I've never heard such scurrilous things said about someone who isn't even running for office. <laughs> do you have something to tell me? No, not running for office. <laughs> when I first heard from Carol, I received a phone call, I believe it was on a Sunday evening, and it wasn't a casual hello. I was voluntold to be at the next TLI and put on a presentation. I thought, what a Toastmaster! I thought I had agreed to be an area governor of Toastmasters. Then I found out, as an area governor, you go to these things called DECs. But I didn't know what it meant. Carol had asked me if I wanted to carpool with her. I said, sure, because it was in Oxnard, and that's a long drive by yourself. So she picks me up in Michael's fast car. I should have known. We start off on the freeway, and the first thing she does is put the car in cruise control. I didn't know cruise control involved driving without footwear. <laughs> <laughs> It was kind of odd, but I thought, okay, this is a fast car. I then found out that she used to be a big rig driver. <laughs> and then I was really terrified because I think of these big, mean guys flipping the bird, <laughs> yelling out the F word and all these horrible drivers, which we ran across many. She didn't do any of that. She's a lady with real class. None of that. We get to Oxnard and we're sharing a room together. And I thought it was kind of odd that she took showers with her clothes on. <laughs> but again, she's a math teacher, not a gym teacher, so I had to 
contributed to that. <laughs> but then there was that time when she was in the bathroom and she ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> and for those of you who know Carol, she loves everything electronic. She hates paper. Everything has to be electronic, her iPad, everything's on that. No paper ever. So when she asked me to help her out, what did I do? I grabbed the iPad and <laughs> district governor, Jesse. <laughs> and they said, you know, Philip, you ought to be a division governor under Carol she becomes district governor. And I thought, well, that's great. I'm just going to save myself the stress and shave my head now. <laughs> <laughs> now I heard you're very good being a math teacher. I could have word problems, right? Mm -hmm. Did you always hate those word problems in school? Stuff that you can never figure out. So I have a word problem for you. You ready for this? Shoot. All right, so you're the bus driver. You got to pick up four kids. You drive 4.8 miles. You pick up three more kids. You do 35 miles an hour. You pick up six more kids. You go 2.3 miles. You drop all the kids off. What's the bus driver's name? <laughs> I said, you're the bus driver. Guess it's me. <laughs> 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 That's not one of those math skills then. <laughs> but at least you got one of these three points in a distinguished <laughs> district. Uh, division. 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 <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but all fun aside, Carol, I admire your tenacity in driving me along the other governors to get our reports in, to make sure our uh, officers are at TLI, to always spread the word. You're a great communicator for your iPad. It's always sent the iPad. Send me an iPad. And I've learned a lot from this tall chick right here. And wherever I may go, I'll remember the things that you've taught me as an area governor. Speaking of driving, <laughs> I don't know how many of you have ever ridden with Carol, that's quite an experience. <laughs> On our way home, we didn't have any incidents except for the, the Lady Gaga seat dancing attempts. <laughs> and Carol is so amazing. I've never seen anyone be able to drive so fast, switch lanes at the last minute, all while eating her breakfast pancakes without shoes. <laughs> Ricky Bobby better watch out. She can multitask. You know, I had to drive Carol someplace one time in my car, and so I picked her up, and she gets in the seat, and I'm kind of driving all this here, and I hear this ratchet sound, and I look over, and she's not there. I'm like, Carol, you're running the back. You know, I felt like a cab driver talking to her like this. You know what? This is worse than texting. I'm trying to talk to you while I'm driving. I think that would be a law against that. <laughs> Our next trip was to Modesto, and no, we didn't drive from Las Vegas. So I had a lot less praying to do. <laughs> I swear I hadn't prayed so hard since my Catholic confirmation. We made it in one piece. When we got to Modesto, we rented a car, Carol drove of course, and there was Michael and me and Lori Jones in there, and we had our seatbelts on. And Monica Aiken and Denise and a couple others were riding in the car behind us, following us. <laughs> Modesto. Good luck for them. Friday afternoon rush hour traffic. Carol's propensity for speed. <laughs> we kept looking back and she kept asking me, did we lose them yet? Did we lose them yet? <laughs> Great lady, and 
And if I ever need to get from point A to point B in the fastest and safest way possible, I'm riding with you. <laughs> you have been an excellent division governor and have showed a lot of patience and shown us how to get things done and given us the push that we needed to become distinguished or better. Yeah. And I really appreciate all of your efforts. And as a gift, we have for you a couple of items. <laughs> Michelle and I, when we just we drove all over the United States with these special fruits for you. Special strawberries and Special strawberries. We're going to probably some out of Jesse's hand. But. <laughs> <laughs> And then my daughter, who's also in high school, baked you these special cookies. Now, I know she hangs around the wrong crowd, but she says they're very, very good. I'm <laughs> 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 still hungry. <laughs> Thank you for a great time. <laughs> <laughs>